hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a squared minus a cubed is equal to 2 and we solve this problem for the values of a so here you see that uh, this is uh, the cubic equation this means that this equation has three roots and now here in the next steps we need to find all that three roots of the given equation so the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to focus in the right hand side and we break our two as in this form you see here we have in the left hand side uh, the exponents are two and three so we write um, this two as one plus one also we write here uh, uh, here we write this one as one square and we write this is the one cubed because we know that uh, the square of one is one and the cube of one is also one and now further in the next step we move uh, these two values into the left hand side and it will be written as a square minus a cubed this is one square becomes minus one square this is one cubed becomes minus one cubed and this whole equation is equals to zero and now further in the next step we need to make the pair of a square term with square term this is a square minus one square and here we need to take uh, minus sign common from both of these values so when you take common negative sign it will becomes a cubed plus one is equals to zero so uh, here further in the next step uh, this is one cubed uh, so in the next step we need uh, two nice algebraic formula to solve this equation here in the first factor we apply here this formula if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and here we apply the cubic formula you know about that a cubed plus b cubed is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so this is uh, we need these two formulas to solve the above equation so here first we apply the first formula into the first factor after applying this it will be written as a minus one times of a plus one and here we apply the cubic formula and it will be written as a plus one times of a square minus a into one plus one square and this is equals to zero and now you see here uh, both of these terms involve the factor a plus 1 so that here we take common a plus 1 after taking common a plus 1 we get the remaining values are so from here we get a minus 1 and here we get this is minus times of this factor and and now we multiply this negative sign on each of these values and it will be written as minus a square plus a and minus this is one square and one square becomes one and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here we need more simplifications and it will be written as a plus one times uh, here we have uh, this is minus a square this is a plus a becomes two times of a this is minus one and minus one becomes minus two and this whole equation is equals to zero so further in the next step we need more simplifications and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a plus one is equals to zero and the second case is we write minus a square plus two a minus two is equals to zero from here we get the value of a is equals to minus one uh, and from here we need to multiply uh, both of the sides by minus 1 so when you multiply both of the sides by minus 1 it will be written as a square minus 2 a plus 2 is equals to 0 so uh, this is the our uh, uh, here in the next step we need to find the roots from this quadratic equation uh, so you know that uh, there are three methods to, to solve the quadratic equation one is factorization method second is completing square and the third one is square by applying the quadratic formula so here we can apply the quadratic formula to find the roots of this equation so for this we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital a is equals to one capital b is equals to minus two and capital c is equals to plus two and we state the quadratic formula as small a is equals to minus b plus minus 
square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now we need to substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so after substituting uh, these values here it will be written as a is equals to minus b the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 2 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and now further in the next step we have this is a is equal to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 2 and plus minus square root of minus 2 square and minus 2 square becomes 4 minus this is 4 times of 2 divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here and it will be written as here we need to take common 4 inside the square root and it will be written as 4 times of 1 minus 2 divided by 2 and further in the next step uh, here when you apply separately the square root on this term and this term so it will be written as we know that square root of 4 becomes 2 and here we get square root of minus 1 divided by 2 and now in the next step we need to break this fraction and it will be written as 2 over 2 plus minus this is 2 times of minus 1 square root and we know that minus 1 square root equals to iota and it is divided by 2 and now you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get the value of a is equals to 1 plus minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and here we get only iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and finally we have the three roots of the given equation are in which these two roots are complex roots and a is equals to minus 1 be the one real root of the given equation so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos